Good morning children. Hope everyone is staying safe at your home. Today we come to the end of the chapter that is in the previous class which I gave you certain questions for revision. And I told you that today I will be discussing those questions. So let's start with the topic that is discussion of revision of lesson number 3. Let's check the first answer children. The first question was given as what is weaving and the answer is the process of arranging two sets of yarns together to make a fabric is called weaving. In case if any word or you could not able to answer the question you write it from these answer which I have given. Our next question is. Name the device which is used for weaving. If you have written loom, it's correct. Absolutely correct. To elaborate it more, I have written loom. Two types of loom, hand loom and machine loom. If you have not added these two looms, types of loom, you add their children for your extra knowledge. Now let us come to the next question. The next question says, which Part of plants give us cotton and jute. Cotton, the part is fruit. In case you, if you have written cotton balls, that too is absolutely correct. So fruit, fruit means cotton balls. If you have written both, that is correct. If you have written one, that is also correct. Which part for jute? That is stem. Now let's see the next question that is differentiate between weaving and knitting. Whenever children we start with differentiation always remember to divide the page into two halves. The first differentiation for weaving is the process of arranging two sets of yarns together to make a fabric. This is a definition. The first point should be always the definition if there is any definition. Same way on the other hand, if it is two sets of yarn for weaving, I already explained you for knitting it is a single yarn which is used to make a piece of fabric. Children, if the question comes for one marks, point should be only one. Half and half, that is one marks. If it comes for two marks, the point should be two for each. So, for the second point which you can involve for two, two marks questions, it can be weaving of fabric is done on looms. And here you can include for the second point for knitting. Knitting may be done by hand or by machine. So, this is the answer which I discuss. For two marks. In case in examination paper you find that weaving and knitting has been given to differentiate and the marks has been given as one marks, children you will only write one point for each. Let's discuss the MCQ that is multiple choice questions. Probably each and every one could able to do the MCQs. But there is one question which I twisted. Let's see how many you have done that as a correct one. The first question. Clothes are made from. I gave the option fibers, yarns, nylon, none of these. So clothes are made from. The option is the first one that is fibers. Option is A. Clothes are made from fibers. It can be natural. It can be man-made or synthetic. First one. The second. Fibers are woven to form. Always remember that schematic diagram which I have discussed children with you. Fibers are woven to form. Number one. Fabric, number two, cotton, number three, jute and number four, yarn. Your correct answer should be 
yarn. I hope you remember that. Fibers to yarn. From yarn to fabric. And the third MCQ goes, name the process used for making fabric from the fiber. This is a little bit twisted which I have given you. Fabric from the fiber, the question says that the question does not suit any option. Because when I use the word fabric, you cannot make fabric directly from fibers. Fabric should be made from yarn and there is no option as yarn. Is It is the process spinning, ginning, weaving and the answer should be none of these. Because fibers from, if I speak here, the question is, Name the process used for making fabric from the fiber. We cannot make children fabric from the fiber. There is no such process. Fabric can be only made from yarn and the process is weaving and knitting. Here the process weaving is there but the word yarn is not there. In place of yarn, I twisted the question and made it fabric from fibers and answer is none of these because fabric that is yarn to fabric it's weaving and knitting fibers to yarn it's spinning but fibers to fabric directly there is no such process so answer is none of these and the last multiple choice question is children Name the natural fibers A. Cotton B. Jute C. Both A and B. Our answer is C. That is cotton is also a natural fiber and jute is also a natural fiber. So option will be both A and B. So here we come with our last portion children where we are over with all the discussion of the questions. I cleared your doubts also, whatever you have asked through Campus Care. In case any portion which I taught you today, you could not be able to understand children, you can uh, write me through Campus Care. Next class, we will be starting with a new chapter that is sorting out materials into different groups. There, I will teach you, there are different terms, new terms which will come through and I will teach you how to sort out material which make our life more easier. Thank you and have a nice day.